Sierra was talking about, you know, why she left Future. Why is she on the podcast speaking about Future when she should have moved on? Just shows y'all that I think she still has a soft spot for Future. I really do. Um, y'all got to understand, women like men like Future. They want they want to sort of tame a guy like Future. Sierra was never able to tame Future. All right. Time that you met Russell, you were going through a really public and what looked like painful breakup. Mm -hmm. And I think about like leaving a relationship is so hard to make that decision, especially I'm assuming as you when you have a child. How did you know for yourself it was time to leave? Oh my goodness. When you know you're supposed to make a make a super defined decision in your life, you know it from like the head to your feet, from your feet to your head and your soul and your body, you know it. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like your taste buds change, right? You have a taste bud for a certain kind of thing and then the oh. taste buds just go. <sighs> <laughs> so, so what she's saying is she was into some, she was into future and then she realized that, oh, she doesn't want that anymore. I guess that's how it is, right? You could you could like a guy, you can like his uh, swagger, but when you are around them and you realize that is you know it's not what you want anymore because that person isn't going to commit to you. Now all of a sudden, you know you uh you want to leave. You want to leave. You got to some. She was very animated with the tone, by the way. Sometimes also look in the mirror and reflect on yourself too, right? Like, okay, what are things that I could be doing differently in my life? Or, mm -hmm. you know, what's a part of what I'm, I'm looking for a change, but what does that mean? Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of define everything about making changes in your life that mm -hmm. are very critical. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've talked about before, obviously, when you have a child, it's very important to me. Like now it's no time to play around. Like the whole like experimentation kind of phase is out the door. It's like, I am now responsible for another life, right? So what am I doing? Like how am I thinking? Around the time that you met Russell, you were going. Well, let me say this about what Sierra is saying because she's talking about experimenting and, you know, now when she breaks up with Future, what is she going to do next? She went the religious route. And that's one of the things I really don't like is when women go the religious route uh, after a breakup. And that's what she did. Look at the photos of them together when they first got together. The interviews, they were very religious. They're in church praying. Right. But then you see her in this interview years later. She has the blonde hair, the jewelry. Like She um, she looks like. You know, she in her CC phase, right? Her, you know, not Sierra, the wife and mother. It's like Sierra, the singer. And I just want to know, why is she speaking about future now? Because she obviously greenlit this interview and the questions. Is she trying to get future's attention? Yes. Right. Because then why, why just why not just leave well enough alone? Of course, Future's going to speak about you. He's a, he's, a, he's a rapper. So there's going to be subliminal disses in his songs, but it's never really aimed at Sierra. They're always aimed at Russell. See, Russell is always the target of Future's music. It's never really her. Have y'all noticed that? Future never really takes shots at her. I think he spoke about her in, a, in like an interview years ago. But he never has really spoken about her since. But now, out of the blue, she has decided to do an interview speaking on future. I just want to know why. It's because she wants to. She wants to get that man's attention. This is what women do. If a woman wants a man's attention, she's going to go out of her way to say and do things that she knows is going to irk his nerves. She is definitely acting like her character on the game. Just call her Girl Melanie. Tears of joy. Appreciate that, Stephen Brown. Through a really public and 
what looked like painful breakup. Mm-hmm. And I think about like leaving a relationship is so hard to make that decision, especially I'm assuming as you when you have a child. How did you know for yourself it was time to leave? Oh my goodness. When you know you're supposed to make a make a super defined decision in your life, you know it from like the head to your feet, from your feet to your head and your soul and your body, you know it. Mm-hmm. And it's almost like your taste buds change. Right? You have a taste bud for a certain kind of thing and then the taste buds just go you got to sometimes also look in the mirror and reflect on yourself too, right? Like, okay, what are things that I could be doing differently in my life? Or, Mm -hmm. you know, what's a part of what I'm I'm looking for a change, but what does that mean? Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of define everything about making changes in your life that Mm -hmm. are very critical. Mm -hmm. And And one of those changes was her getting with somebody who was the polar opposite. Somebody, because I got to understand, Russell Wilson was in a bad place when she got with him. Russell Wilson had just broken up with a woman that he was with since he got into the NFL. She had cheated on him with his teammate, Golden Tate. That's why they ended up getting Golden Tate up on out of there. Um, And he ended up breaking up with her. And that's when he got with Sierra. That's when he got with Sierra. And, um... Sierra probably knew that she knew he was in a a state of healing and that was her opportunity. That was her opportunity. But I want to say this though, there's a very good chance that Russell Wilson is released from the Denver Broncos next after this season, because the Broncos season is not going very well. And Sean Payton, the head coach of the Denver Broncos I don't think he wants Russell Wilson as his quarterback. He's, he was critical of Russell Wilson when he got there. And I don't think he would hesitate for a second to get rid of Russell Wilson. That would mean, and, I, and honestly, I don't see Russell Wilson being a starter in the NFL if he gets released. Now, he does have a huge contract, but there are ways around that. Maybe they've given him a lot of his bonuses. They gave Maybe they've given him a lot of upfront money. I don't know how his contract is. Um, but there's a good chance he's no longer with the Denver Broncos next year. I don't see him starting nowhere else in the NFL. I really don't. And Sierra might be looking for her post Russell Wilson exit because you got to look at the timing. Why is she doing this interview now? Speaking directly about her relationship. She's never done this. She's never spoken directly about her relationship with future never but she's doing it now and i just find the timing to be interesting because there's a chance russell could be gone from denver next season especially if this season continues to go south now all of a sudden she (laughs) He doing these interviews and she's speaking directly about future. I don't know. That's just things I've noticed about women. Women always make preemptive moves, especially in their relationships. And then boom, they're out of there. And, you know, I've talked about before, obviously when you have a child, it's very important to me. Like now it's no time to play around. Like the whole like experimentation kind of phase is out the door. It's like, I am now responsible for another life. So, so future was an experiment. (laughs) So future was an experiment. That's what it was. It was an experiment. You were experimenting with future. Right. So what am I doing? Like, how am I thinking around the time? That- so that's that was my my thoughts. And I just wanted y'all to see that and just let y'all know Sierra is not over future. And I find it real interesting that she is doing this interview now. <laughs> 